So my name is John Dobbin and um, I'm the founder and creative director of H5. So we are a transformational design agency and we're working with global corporations and we try to help them to make their values come alive. So often we're contacted by those organizations and they're struggling in different fields. It can be that they need to become more creative, more agile. So we go then into the organization uh, with a, a team of design researchers. Then we analyze the situation and then we try to identify what are the key pain points in these organizations. And then we're building solutions. Um, and one of our biggest clients, a very important client of ours is Cosnova. It's a cosmetic company. It's the leading cosmetic brand or producing company in Europe. They have the brands like Essence and Catrice. And we've been working with them for many years. And they have been struggling a lot with, like any other cosmetic company, with the waste and sustainability, the sustainability issues. Because you have to imagine that a company in the size of Cosnova is producing and selling around 900 million items a year. And the problem is that due to the changes in weather or in trends, at some point of the year, a lot of those not a lot, but a small percentage of those products are not sold and then they're shipped back. So the company then suddenly has their warehouses full of unsold products, which they can't put onto the market again. But on, on the end, they're really valuable, beautiful products, which you can use for other purposes. So they asked us if we wouldn't have any ideas what to do with um, all those actually beautiful waste, which they have, because they didn't want to throw this waste away because they thought maybe we can do something better with this. Um, and so to find a solution, which we did then, we organized, uh, organized a workshop um, in Berlin. And with the organization, with a team from them, we went from one design studio to the next. In each uh, design studio in Berlin, they were confronted with a certain type of waste problem, which the organization has. So the one was working with uh, cardboard and packaging. The other one was working with unsold nail polishes. And on the end of the workshop, which we realized, which was really beautiful and interesting and inspiring for us, that actually there's many solutions on how to tackle those existing problems. And so what we did then, we developed out of this, the idea of an ideation platform where organizations can upload challenges and those challenges then can be tackled by the society at large. So anyone can join, upload an idea and find a solution. Um, and so our goal was to develop this online platform, but before we wanted to launch this online platform, we thought what we should do is we should develop uh, an offline experience to learn, to understand how people are dealing with this type of issues. And so we developed um, a space during the Salone a Furniture Fair in Milano, where we had a pop-up store. Um, and the people could enter the store. It was a small space and we developed this kind of different tools and a menu and there was a trash bar and the participants who visited the space, they could choose from the trash bar different types of trash. So they got this trash and then they went to a table and they ideated new solutions. So in a very short time, I think within three days, over 3,000 people visited the space, actively participated. We developed hundreds and thousands of different ideas, built real prototypes. Um, and um, after seeing the success and also how hungry and open people were to be part in finding um, problems for existing, uh, uh, finding solutions for existing problems, we were then ready to launch um, the digital platform of this. So we developed this digital platforms where we already collaborated with different organizations who gave us their trash and then we tried to figure out how to solve this. Um, and we started to work on targeted collaborations with outstanding designers. Here, for example, a very beautiful product. Um, this is, for example, made from upcycled, uh, unused nail polish bottles. And so what the studio from Berlin, Berlin, Lola, did is they took this material, they grinded it down, and then they uh, developed this beautiful terrazzo out of it. And they're building beautiful furniture from unsold nail polish bottles. And also on the previous page, actually what you could see, you can see Peter, people started to develop paintings or from um, unused advertisement banners, they created beautiful lamps. So um, after seeing this success, I think what is, what is very interesting is the topic of um, taking 
uh, the a problem and bringing it to the society. So because what we didn't do anymore, we didn't sit anymore there in a round of experts and trying to tackle this, this problem. We really brought it into the society at large and we had students coming there. We had kindergartens uh, joining in our space and participating. We had bus drivers and teachers and bakers and all working on the same problem. And I think this is also actually on the end, the question which I would like to leave there, the provocation. I really am interested in how to involve the public Public as such into the curatorial and into the design processes of the museum. How can we harvest the ideas from the people out there? How can we bring them there into the spaces? And how can we yeah, have a democratization of those processes? I think this is what I would like uh, as an idea and as a learning um, from our Treasure to Treasure project share with you.